Hello everybody, my name is uh, Haroon Denishman and I would like to explain to you about one historical engineer that I look up to all the time and his name is George E. Davis. So about George E. Davis and why he was so he was so significant about, about him, what I think about him most of is because he is the father of chemical engineering. Something that I want, to, some type of a field of engineering that I want to go into, and that I feel like his his engineering like just uh, just led me through what uh, what I what I think of. His ideas about chemical uh, about uh, this new engineering brought this new science field of engineering into shape, with both chemical and mechanics in the, in the shape, and many other and many other stuff about chemical engineering as well. So I thank him for that. So, so what is this guy? All, uh, so what is this guy? He was born, uh, of course, born in uh, was born in England, and he was the son of a bookseller. He was he was a, an apprentice of bookbinding, but then abandoned that job because he felt like he wanted to pursue his career even more, which was chemistry. He wanted to study chemistry all the time because he felt like he felt like something for it. Like he held into many positions in the in the places, like for instance, the Great Alkali Act of eighteen sixty three. He was an inspector for there for some time. Uh, what's the most important about uh, about his act? His his work was that he was in a uh, University of Manchester back then. It was the Manchester School, and he helped make uh, create examples and lectures about about the ways of chemical engineering, like for instance, acid production. And manufacturing and production, uh, like acid production, many types of acid productions, um, brewing, of course, and dyeing, uh, dyeing, not like like death, but like just purple dye, mauve, anything like that. He even also gave some uh, little uh, little uh, examples of chemical plants, like for instance, how do they work and what they do, and for instance, crystallization. He also gave a little examples of that. His entire lecture is formed into a two-volume book, known as, uh, known as his book, his Handbook of Chemical Engineering, which showed discipline of, uh, of chemical engineering. His ideas about chemical engineering brought, uh, brought, uh, brought, a new, uh, brought a new field to life. And I felt like, hey, this, is, this, this guy's a genius. This guy's awesome. And his twelve, in a series of of his twelve lectures of the uh, of the handbook of chemical chemical engineering, brought many things to shape. And one type of personal connection that I feel with this guy is that hey, maybe I could find something else, another scientific field uh, field in the future. Maybe I could find something that could uh, that could also be bigger and better than chemical engineering. Sorry, the lights on, but. Hey, like that's what I feel. That's what I think about. Like, why not? Uh, why not also find something like this guy did? Like, just find another type of scientific field out there. And for that reason, like he is the uh, like, it inspired me to also do chemical engineering too. But to also like think about many ways on what else is there. What type of other engineering is there other than the ones that are found today? And I want to give a shout out to George E. Davis for uh, for finding the uh, for being the father of chemical engineering for finding this because I because because I love it because I love it it's fun, it's a fun thing to do and I thank him for it. And with that, thank you everybody for watching.